today we are going to discuss about a very very important topic which is asked in various exams and that is known as the cell junctions or also called it as intercellular junctions now the question arises that why we are studying the cell junctions and what is the function of these cell junctions so to provide the structural and the functional link between its individual cells the epithelium cells gets modified into following structures and these structures are called as cell junctions again i am repeating why the cell junctions are formed so these cell junctions are actually providing the structural and the functional link between the individual cells of the epithelium tissue that's why we are studying the cell junctions okay and these cell junctions or the intercellular junctions are basically of how many types four types one are known as the tight junctions the second are known as the adhering junctions or also called as the desmosomes or macula adherens the third junctions are called as the gap junctions and the fourth one is known as the interdigitation but out of these four the three important junctions are the tight junctions the adhering junctions and the gap junctions what you can see in your ncrt also class 11th okay and the fourth type are the interdigitation so cell junctions are of how many types four types tight junctions adhering junctions gap junctions and interdigitation fine now let's take one by one number one tight junctions as the name is indicating that these junctions which are found between the cells are tightly bound okay tightly bounding the cells fine so tight junctions at some places the plasma membrane of the adjacent cell you know very well that the outermost membrane of the animal cell is what the plasma membrane so at some places at some places not at all the places at some places the plasma membrane of the adjacent cell become fused to form tight junctions okay again i am repeating at some places the plasma membrane of the adjacent cells become fused together and it forms the tight junctions okay now what is the prime function of the tight junctions in many exams it has been asked that what is the prime function of the tight junctions so the prime function of these junctions that is the tight junction is to help to stop substances from leaking across our tissue okay again i am repeating these junctions help to stop the substances from leaking across a tissue means they do not allow the leaking of the substances this is the prime role of the tight junctions okay now the question arises that where these tight junctions in which type of the epithelium tissue these type of the junctions are found so these structures are found mostly in the columnar epithelium okay mm -hmm. mostly in the columnar epithelium you know what is columnar epithelium a uh, epithelium in which the cells are column like or the pillar like elongated cells so the cells of the columnar epithelium right are having these type of the junctions not as the tight junctions which prevent the leakage of any substances across the tissue okay now the second one are also important known as the adhering junctions or also called as the desmosomes or also called as the macula adherens as the name is indicating what is the meaning of the adhering adhering means to join uh, something okay or we can say it is that uh, these uh, junctions are acting as a cementing okay these junctions are acting as a cementing between the cells means they are joining the two cells so see here these type of junctions are made up of fibers known as the tonofibrils again i am repeating these type of the junctions are made up of fibers known as the tonofibrils and tonofibrils are composed of keratin like protein not keratin but keratin like protein okay again i am repeating the adhering junctions are the type of the junctions which are made up of fibers right known as the tonofibrils means here the cells are attached together right or they are uh, or they are having the tonofibrils in between them okay and these junctions provide the cementing to keep the neighboring cells together 
right as the name is indicating adhering means the cells will be adhered together they will be attached together but how so these junctions provide cementing to keep the neighboring cells together so what is the prime function of the adhering junctions that these junctions provide cementing to keep the neighboring cells together hence called as the adhering junctions and now the question arises that where these junctions are found so there is a type of a epithelium known as the stratified epithelium stratified means a epithelium in which the cells are found in layers so these structures means these adhering junctions or these type of the intercellular junctions actually provide mechanical support to the stratified epithelium so they are providing mechanical support to the stratified epithelium fine now the third one is known as the gap junctions third one is known as gap junctions so as the name is indicating these junctions facilitates the cell to communicate with each other to communicate with each other by connecting cytoplasm of the adjoining cell for the rapid transfer of the ions or the small molecules or the big molecules okay again i am repeating what are the role of the gap junctions they facilitate the cells to communicate with each other by connecting the cytoplasm of the adjoining cell for the rapid transfer of the ions or the transfer of the small molecules or sometimes the transfer of the big molecules and these gap junctions it has been seen that these type of the gap junctions are generally found in the skin cells fine and the last type of the junctions are the interdigitation you know what is the meaning of interdigitation say for these are the fingers of this hand these are the fingers of this hand okay if i do like this type like this type so this is called as interdigitation fine so finger like projection uh, processes like this type this is a interdigitation fine so finger like processes of the plasma membrane which enter into cytoplasm of the adjacent cell again i am repeating some finger like projections or some finger like uh, processes arise from the plasma membrane of the adjacent cells okay and they enter into the cytoplasm of these cells so again i am repeating finger like processes of the plasma membrane which enter into the cytoplasm of the adjacent cell and these type of the interdigitations are actually found in the transitional epithelium they are found in the transitional epithelium fine so uh, these were the different type of the cell junctions tight junctions adhering junctions gap junctions and interdigitation okay so this was the part 2 of the epithelial tissue earlier i have made part 1 of this epithelial tissue you can watch that one also and in the coming time uh, i will be bringing many videos based on this topic and all the other topics of the biology thanks a lot for watching me